Hey guys, it's Tony with Tony's Aquarium. Wanted to show you guys a nice saltwater box we just got. We're gonna do an unboxing. I also wanted to highlight a couple of our freshwater items we got in this week. We have a local cichlid breeder who brought in some beautiful yellow labs. It, it's one of the more common, but these guys are nice. And we also got in a Montoro Stingray. Let's show you that guy. Take a look. This is our saltwater box. We have some cool stuff today. I'll show you a couple things. This is called a lettuce neuter branch. What it is is a sea slug that eats all kinds of nuisance algae in the tank. They don't get too big. Uh, bad part about them is they get stuck in filters and uh, sort of get disintegrated. But if your tank's good and it won't kill them, they do great. This is another algae eating guy. This is called a zebra lawnmower blender. He comes out of Hawaii, he's a little big. Uh, sort of like an upgraded version of a regular lawnmower blending. He has a much better patterns. Real pretty. This guy right here is a black bar soldier fish. He's in the squirrel fish family. They get real pretty. They turn bright red or deep pink. Pretty peaceful. They might eat a shrimp if you let them. This guy is a mixed breed wrasse. He is a half of a hoven and a half of melanaris. It's a hybrid. Real pretty. We'll eat bristle worms, stuff like that. Um, they can eat shrimp and hermit crabs, so you have to be careful. 100 blue leg hermit crabs. We sell so many of them. Great for a saltwater tank. People love them. This guy right here is one of my favorite. Many people don't even know this exists. It's called a tasseled file fish. And really cool fish. All right, this is a Coral Beauty Angelfish, Dwarf Angel, not really aggressive. He doesn't like other Dwarf Angels, but you can mix them with plenty of other fish. They usually don't bother corals. Every once in a while, you might get one that picks. This right here is a Selfin Tang. The black bags are hard to see. Pretty Tang. They are aggressive towards other Tangs usually, unless you have a group of them. They eat algae. Don't bother corals, great in a reef tank. And I have two different types of corals, which are gonna be real hard. We'll get a better picture. This is a blue Xenia, it's a type of polyp. And the other one is a giant leather. That one you can see at least. That's a leather coral, one of the best corals out there. And that's it. These guys are some yellow lab cichlids. They are locally bred and uh, the breed is a real good breeder. Pretty much they're a little bit on the aggressive side so you wanna make sure you keep them in larger schools. You don't wanna put two in there because they could be a little dominant towards each other. I would do a minimum of 55 gallon if you wanna keep big guys like this. We do get small ones that could stay in a smaller tank for temporary. Um, they are omnivores so you don't have to feed them any meats or anything like that. They like kelp pellets and it's all kinds of stuff vegetarian wise. Real cool fish. Uh, they do like a little higher pH so if you want to keep it 7.5, 7.6 no problem. Temperature about 78 to 82 degrees just like all the other tropicals. Real cool fish you'll love it. So this is a Montoro stingray. Really pretty pretty stingray. Gets large about 36 inch round so it's gonna be a big one so you want to have a big tank for it. Uh, this is a tank raised version so locally bred uh, really awesome uh, they will eat small fish and crustaceans and blood worms stuff like that so you don't want to keep any uh, cherry shrimp or anything like that because it will become lunch thank you guys for watching make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we have a bunch of different videos coming out this was a pretty cool one i love the stingrays um, definitely give us a thumbs up and also go on our Facebook page Tony the Frame at facebook.com and you can always come visit us in person we're in Gunnersville, Alabama Mountain Crest Shopping Plaza thanks again